Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another episode of All About Jamie. Today I'm going to take a class and guess what class that is. So I am going to learn something constructive that I could use at home all the time and since I'm going to be stuck at home for at least quite some time I thought I might as well learn something that will benefit the house and make it more beautiful so I'm going to take floral arrangement classes previously I have learned Ikebana floral arrangement before but I have not learned the western style of floral arrangement and I feel that floral arrangement you don't really have to spend a lot of money on the containers or the vases today we are going to find something around the house that we have existing because I feel that if you are actually creating enough, you can totally whip up something really gorgeous with what you have at home. This is a vase that I bought recently. It has like a moustache on one side and a lip on the other side. I am going to use that as one of my containers today. And because I'm going to have a garden party tomorrow and the ladies are all going to show up in sundresses and hats so I have this very warm environmentally friendly hat and I'm going to decorate it for tomorrow's lunch I've got this trunk box this trunk I have actually got some dried flowers in it if you have already seen from my previous episodes of All About Jamie for home decor I think I was arranging these dried flowers so I just make do with these dried flowers that I have existing in my basement and today I am going to use this box and decorate it with fresh blooms that are going to be so much more beautiful. So I've got my trunk, my hat and my vase and I'm going to go to the garden and start my class. Okay, wait, I found something that most of you might have at home and it's going to be so lovely for an arrangement. This would be so rustic and beautiful for the arrangement in the house and it just looks casual very european very summery i'm going to go with that my teacher today is hari and hari is an international award winning floral designer and he's done many mega weddings as well so let's welcome him hello hi the flowers are so amazing beautiful and it smells so nice is that your yeah. signature fragrance oh yes this definitely is uh, the roses yes, yes it's bulgarian roses beautiful. i've received many bouquets from harry before and they always have this signature set yes i do agree so for the first arrangement we are going to go with wine cream let's start with the main flowers that i think today we have dahlia from oh, yeah. Holland. Oh, they are so big and beautiful. That's right, yeah. Let's wow. take the dahlia. These are by far the biggest dahlias I've seen. So I'm going to pick a dahlia from my pocket. Yes, maybe we cut about 30 centimeters. Yes. We cut slant, so make yes. sure that it will drink water. Yes. Ah, cut. Cutting slime is for them to drink water? Yes, because the surface is bigger and it will drink uh -huh. more water. So your flowers will last longer. Right. I'm going yeah, to and remove good some to leaves. remove some leaves. Yes, because leaves sometimes mm. also drink plenty of water. Right. So when you have this kind of uh, container, mm -hmm. I think the best that like you start with uh, somewhere in the in the left or right. Let's put it. Uh, mm -hmm. We take again uh, another dahlia because we need about three pieces of dahlia. Just getting it a little bit higher. Alright. Yes, you can have it a little bit higher. Ah, a little yeah. bit higher in the center, maybe. Yes. yes. And so let's one. take one more mm -hmm. and we put it even much taller. Oh, like this okay. and you can put it behind. Yes, you put it some behind. Mm -hmm. To create the three dimensional effect, let's take the hydrangea. Mm -hmm. I yes. know what that is. 
let's cut about 20 centimeter mm -hmm. right then we just put it in front so be able to be seen yeah. okay we can slant perfect mm -hmm. the next one let's take another green hydrangea green hydrangea yes for yes, this we yes. cut slightly longer uh-huh yeah that's about 30 centimeter and we just put it um in the this right this position that's right the next one let's take the this leaf beautiful rose. rose yes we need about three to four pieces here but let's put it the first one we can cut about 25 centimeter right hmm. yep and let's put slant in front on your right side very good at beautiful. copying my teacher and let's do the second one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to clean up the last petal. Yes. yes, just like it off to make it a bit bigger. Actually, you can do your own style too. Why, right, Jimmy oh, style? This is my first Western arrangement, okay, in my life. So I wouldn't say that I can do my own style. It's not going to look great. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy style <laughs> always will be beautiful for sure. Okay, let's okay. put it in the center, just below the dahlia. Just below the dahlia. Now, what we are going to do, let's have some a little bit more interesting. We take this uh, uh, grass, it's called talinum. It's very exotic, rustic. Yeah? Yes, rustic. It's rustic. Let's okay, take some more. We need about six to seven of them. So it's basically to fill yes. in the space. To fill in the space in between the beautiful flowers. It's beautiful. So beautiful. It's yes. like and a just leave sage. it uh, a tall because mm -hmm. you have a very nice shape. Then this one for me, I need to trim a little bit. Just make right. it behind. Just to create a mess. Beautiful. Yes. More mimosa leaves. Yes. Mm -hmm. The next one, let's put the wax flowers. This is very nice fragrance to trim it. Trim it just a little bit. Still long, about 40 centimeter. Mm -hmm. Now we put it in between here. In between, yes. You can have even shorter a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little just bit shorter. Fill up the Empty space. Here they call it Eustoma. Ah, yes. But in Germany, Lysiantus. The correct name is Lysiantus. Eustoma, yes. I've yes, heard of this Eustoma. name before. Yes. So this also is. Best, best. So, okay. You have three, then you just put oh. it in between now because you have a empty space here. Right. So you can put it to. Monkey so hair. Hey, monkey hair. Monkey hair. They call it cotinus hair or monkey hair. Leave it very uh, bushy. Just mm -hmm. give the rustic feeling, and we can put it in between, but a little bit in front. Oh, of course. Yes. So shorter. Yeah, here is good spot. Yes. The next one, we take this very beautiful uh, cosmos. Yeah, I love cosmos. Nice I have some in my garden. Oh, wow. But they're not flowering. No. Very soon. So, what a big difference yeah. a floral arrangement makes to this wine crate. I love it. Okay, next up, I'm going to have to ask Hari to decorate this hat for me for a garden party. First one, we will cut some of the beautiful uh, mini roses. It's mm -hmm. like um, garden roses. Yes. So we have one big and one small one. Yes. We just make it a very quick composition. Mm -hmm. Of course, when you mention dramatic, this yeah. is Ooh, I love something that. very dramatic. Mm. Yeah, it's tifa. It's a dried grass. They call it Estonian grass. Yeah, so, yes. Yes. So we just cut it a little bit. Yes. 
and giving there. Little bit of look, oh, yes. Such a darling already. Yes, and we put a little bit greenery because you need uh -huh. a little bit rustic. Let's take the mimosa because it's very rustic. Yes, combine together. So mm -hmm. we just roll it. Yes. And we cover it, cut it, and give it just a natural. Beautiful, like even a oracle start. So to make this uh, easier, mm -hmm. so we just cover the other part for the head mm -hmm. because we don't want to show the stem. Yes, the stem. So we cut back the mimosa to and just, we just oh. make it upside down. It's wow, actually yes. to cover, yes. That's and we lovely. just bundle it mm -hmm. together and we just twist it. Mm -hmm. Now we just make a small hole to your head. Yes. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's great. Let's try. So for the third arrangement, we are going to do something very simple, very minimalistic. Let's start. Mm -hmm. The first one, our main flowers is a uh, kala lily, or sometimes yes. this year we call it, and we just uh, press a little bit. Press, just press and massage a little bit to give the curve. Massage. Ah, but not too high, and my break. Yes, once broken. broken Considered so. Considered <laughs> so. Yes. yes. Then you have a little bit of curve. Yeah. Yeah, it's the massage. And press, press, just press, press. Feels kind of erotic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you ah. have this look. You see? This is what you have. So let's cut it this about 40 centimeters. Okay. Yes. I lost started. my scissors. Oh wow. A little later. Alright, you just put it inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just one stop. Yes. Beautiful. Oh. And now what you are going to do, we have take this iris leaf. Mm -hmm. Very wire. Yeah. Very wayang. <laughs> <laughs> take these two pieces. Yes, two pieces. Try I cut mine at no, the... No, that's oh. okay. Yeah, because mine is short, yours is longer. Wow. Yeah. Two pieces. So, yes, the bottom is the same line. Okay, let's bend it slowly. Yeah, very mm. slow. Mm -hmm. And one more. You have to bend it very like this. So it's two different kind of loop. Right. One bigger and one smaller. Then now let's tie this with the wire. Mm -hmm. okay. That is yes, beautiful. And just put it inside. Yes. It's beautiful, right? Yes. The simple minimalist beautiful. Mm -hmm. But we still have this still grass. So right. we take this one because this is the miniature in the design ah. miniature of the iris leaf yes. so we do the same okay. we just put it without any direction uh -huh. just put it below one and we have to uh, make a hole to the leaf so you poke the leaf yes you make a, a uh -huh. hole then you push pull it then now you have another yes. beautiful line Right? right? And one more, you mm -hmm. just poke it, it to the, the other leaf. Yes, oh. to lock it. This is very artistic, minimalist, and very beautiful for mm. interior. Mm. You have this, yeah? So sometimes when you say not enough, you can add even one more steel grass. Oh, no. steel grass. grass okay. Yes, and you can do the same. But you poke it to be different way as design as what you like. Very and zen. Yes, and very impactful also yes. with using very minimal flowers. Mm -hmm. Next, we are going to do an arrangement with this LV trunk. First, to protect the interior of your very expensive beloved trunk. We line a trunk with like cellophane paper. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have this very characteristic 
be service uh, stamp. So this is going to be a freestyle. Freestyle, yes. yes. So, so uh, follow your desire. Yeah. yeah. So looking at this uh, sprig of uh, dry twig, we create like a shape. Right? right? Yes. And the second one. We have this very dramatic flowers. It's clematis. Clematis. Yeah. Mm. We'll have this. Uh, which your lucky number? Lucky number eight. Okay, so we will <laughs> put eight flowers. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow, it's working nice. out very well. Looks yes, like an enchanted forest. Yeah. And they see the contrast between mm. the fresh one and the dried one. Right. Okay. Yes, I think it's perfect. Yes, maybe we just put maybe one or two of mimosa, maybe a scoot to give this background. Mm -hmm. Yes, just low background. Lovely. Yeah? Yes, so now we've got everything covered up and yes. it's still a very simple. And beautiful, and beautiful. I think one more. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. And grass has been found to me. Uh huh. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, we got it. Beautiful. Yeah. And the brown is matching with the trunk very well. I love it. I love line. it. I love the purple and the browns and the greens. It all just marries so well with this trunk. Thank you, Harry. My now pleasure. I have new ideas to decorate my home using the containers okay. that I have, like various rustic containers, you know, even like a candle holder could be a container, oh, right? Yes. Why not? Yeah. What else? Bottles, beautiful bottles for maybe yeah. like kombucha bottles. You can make an arrangement Wine out of it. Wine bottles. Chili Desert. ketchup. <laughs> now I'm hungry and thinking of McDonald's because he said chili ketchup. So guys, we've come to the end of this video and I hope that you have learned a thing or two from my lesson with Hari. And if you feel inspired to do any of the arrangements, feel free to tag me on Instagram and show me what you do and I'll see you next week.